What is up, budget and family and friends? My name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mac channel where I am documenting our six figure debt free journey as an entrepreneurial licensed clinical social worker, along with my husband, who is a welder. Together, we have a combined income of about $130,000. And we started our journey back in October of 2023 with $305,884 worth of debt. That includes credit card debt a car loan, a HELOC, which is a home equity line of credit, um, our primary home and student loans. And our goal is to have that debt completely eliminated by December 31st, 2026, to then start to build wealth and become work optional by the age of 50. So we are sharing that journey with you guys here in the form of monthly budgets, weekly budgets, debt updates, transfer Tuesdays, and because I'm an entrepreneur, I do also share the income that I earn in my business every single month. And I will also start to share quarterly net worth updates. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in watching or if you are interested in following my journey from six figure debt to debt freedom, fire or financial independence, retirement early, hopefully even millionaire net worth millionaire status then make sure you have subscribed to my channel and if you or anyone you know is on a debt freedom journey and would be informed and inspired by my journey please make sure to subscribe today is friday and i am sharing for the sake of starting off july exactly where i want to start it off I am sharing the last weekly budget of this month. So this, today's video is June week four's budget and we will get right into it. All right, so what you see on my screen is my budget template. This week's budget went from Thursday, June the 20th to Wednesday, June the 26th. The income for this pay period or this week was planned at $1,400. That was $500 from my husband's paycheck and $900 from my paycheck. And the reason my husband's check is short is because last week, um, the, the week of June the 12th through the 15th, we had to take my daughter to New York for her paid internship as a fashion director. And so he missed two days from that paycheck and because pay periods start on friday he also missed one day from the following paycheck what he actually earned was 749 dollars and 29 cents i earned a 936 dollars and 67 cent and then i got that 401k um paycheck return or whatever for 95 dollars and 30 cent which bought our income for this week to 1781 dollars and 18 cent we transitioned over to savings and savings for this week was planned at $175 and that was with $50 on into my high yield savings account, $50 into my husband's savings account and he did not save his $50, $10 into my M1 investments account and $10 did go into my investment account, $25 for Christmas 2024 and $25 was transferred into that account, $10 into my son's savings fund college fund and ten dollars went into that account and thirty dollars into my daughter's uh, savings account and thirty dollars did go into that account so that bought our actual savings for this week to one hundred and twenty five dollars we transitioned over to bills for this week and bills were planned was was planned at six hundred and forty nine dollars and fifty four cents that was with $333 um, on my mortgage, which is paid weekly, and $333 did get drafted. $300 for, towards our utility bill, and $300 did get drafted. And then $16.54 for Netflix, and $16.54 did get drafted, which bought our bills for this week to $649.54. We transitioned over to expenses and expenses for this week were planned at $530 and that was $180 on groceries. We only spent $8.34. Gas was planned at $120 and we only spent $47. Beauty maintenance had zero. Boys hair had zero and we spent $45. Toiletries had zero and we spent zero. Household had $50 and we spent $2.10. 
Fast food had $50 and we spent $39.62. And miscellaneous had $80 and we spent $80.17. Again, tithing was planned at $50. We did not attend church last week. Again, that is not an excuse. And tithing did not get $50. That really is not an excuse because even when I do go to church, I cash out my tithes. And I just have not been making it a priority. And I need to be more intentional with that. That bought our actual expenses to $223.22. We transitioned over to debt. Debt for this week was planned at $754.51. That was with $100.52 on my husband's PayPal account. And that is what he needed to avoid interest on his special financing. $49.41 was due on our city card, but we no longer have a balance on the city card. So that was actually paid to my husband's Platinum American, Ex no, Hilton American Express. $250.20 is our debt, um, our weekly car payment amount and we paid three hundred and forty nine dollars and fifty two cents and then all of my student loans did come out um the total payment equals three hundred and fifty eight dollars and thirty seven cent but again because i will be paying these off soon um and i will be tackling them per loan i document them per loan that bought our debt total for this week to eight hundred and four dollars and forty two cents we transitioned over to budgeted versus the actual, and we did not have a planned rollover, but we had an actual rollover of $557.07. I did tell you guys I was going to be more intentional with tracking the balances um, that are in our account come Thursday morning. The income was planned at $1,400, and the actual income was $1,781.18. The income saved was planned at $175, and we saved $125. The income spent, which is the combination of bills and expenses, was planned at $1,179.54. And the actual was $871.77. And the debt paid was planned at $754.51. And we actually paid $804.42. This left a remaining balance, a planned leftover balance of a negative $151.98 with an actual leftover balance of $537.06. And that is not accurate. What was left in our account starting July week one was $273.03. We go over to the breakdown and the breakdown for this week's income, 6.9% of our income went towards savings. 36.1% of, of our income went towards bills. 12.3% of our income went towards expenses and 44.7% of our income went towards debt. So those are some pretty good numbers for the breakdown. We were over in two categories. That was my boy's hair and miscellaneous. Not, not too much with the boy's hair. My son got his hair done, my oldest son, and I am no longer responsible for his hairdo because he is 18 years old. But I did cover this expense since it was in our budget. When we go down to miscellaneous transactions, there was a miscellaneous purchase in the amount of $68.67, which was closed from the Salvation Army. And we had tax, I had to pay taxes for a Southwest flight for my daughter to come home in July. And then I paid another. $5.90 in miscellaneous fees to send my daughter a package. So that is what put us over in the miscellaneous category. So that is it for June week for his budget. Um, a few updates about my budget. So I don't know if I share with you guys that I was renegotiating my consulting contract. And we have finalized negotiations my salary or my negotiating my consulting salary has doubled and i am wondering if i should increase my salary um because i am trying to get out of debt and then uh because i also i have shared if you watch my um 
income reports, I've shared repeated, repeatedly that I am hoping to start to hire and I am working on saving um, a, the salary for the LCSWA that I want to hire. So I'm wondering if I should. I'm also trying to get a third shift job. So I am wondering that if should I not get the third shift job, should I increase my salary? Um, so I talk numbers here, so I'm very transparent. So I'll just be honest. OK, so currently I the past two years since I've been in private practice, I have made about one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. I only pay myself a salary of 66 right now, $66,300. I am debating if I should raise my salary to $100,000 to get out of debt sooner. That would have me saving anywhere, um, hopefully at least $10,000 because I have about $5,000 in expenses. Uh, so maybe I should pay myself $90,000 and then have enough to cover my expenses and then not necessarily have any savings in my business savings account until I am completely debt free or should I increase my salary to about seventy thousand dollars from sixty six to seventy have enough money to cover the the monthly expenses and then also have enough money to save in the account to hire someone what would you do in this particular situation? If I already had a full-time third shift job, I would not raise my, I would raise my salary, increase my salary, but I wouldn't increase it drastically. I might take it from 66 to 68 or 68.5. But I'm thinking about doing a drastic raise, like I said, to either 90,000 or $100,000 and see what that looks like. Make sure that the expenses for my business are still covered, but I'm not having a lot to save in my account for that LCSWA um, once I decide to hire. Also keeping in mind that I'm not interested in hiring until I am completely debt free. So if you have an opinion about any of that, please make sure to list that down below because that is my dilemma right now. Um, the contract is supposed to go in effect July the 1st, and so I should receive my first increased income, um, increased contract paycheck July the 15th. So before I was getting, I want to say $4,200, I mean $42,000. Yes, I was getting $42,000 and my contract has been increased to seventy five five, I believe, $75,560, I think. And so I'm wondering if I should, if nothing else, just increase my salary to the $75,000 that I earn in my private practice, which will be completely covered by my consulting. And then everything I earn in my private practice um, is really sitting in the savings account to cover the salary of the LCSWA when I hire. Now, granted, the LCSWA should eventually start to make money. Why do I want to have the full salary? Because there's no, it, it typically it could take up to six months before she start, he or she starts to make money. So I could aim for it saving eight months of her, his or her salary in my account and then start to pay her out, him or her out of the money that she begins to uh, collect or create. What would you do in this uh, in this particular situation? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Anyhow, that is it for a June week forest budget. I think your input would be very helpful and it will be reflected on hopefully by July week one's budget. Um, or maybe I should wait until I actually receive the paycheck. So um, that is it. If again, if you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you know anyone who is on a debt free journey and would be informed and inspired by following my journey, please make sure to share my videos so that they can join the tribe over here. I really appreciate you guys again for watching and I appreciate you all your input and your comments and your questions. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Um, which may be my net worth updates. So I'm excited about that. Thank you so very much for watching. Bye for now.